So this time, chaps, we're going to be painting some commanded shot, and these come from the new Pike and Shot range of epic battles from Warlord Games. So these are very nice, very well crafted miniatures. I enjoy them a lot. So we're starting off with Magic Blue from Game Color. As you can see, we also base coat with a dark color. I prefer black just because it gives you the shadows. Although an option that I do quite enjoy to use sometimes is to use a black base coat and then use a Xenophil uh, highlighting. So that's just literally dry brushing over them using, using white. You could use a spray can and spray from a distance and from above. Um, but in this case, I just went straight for plain black base coat. So Magic Blue covers very nicely. It's a very nice color to use. I enjoy it a lot. It's also the color that I used on the Union Troops trousers. So yeah, I give it a good thumbs up. <laughs> it works nicely. Um, it flows well, doesn't dry out. Um, and it has a good coloration to it, so that's why I like to use it as much as I can. If you've got your own blue that you uh, think works very well, please leave a comment down below, um, just so we all have an idea of different uh, colors that we can use. But yeah, these miniatures, they do have good detail on them. There's been a couple of the miniatures uh, from Warlord Games. I can't think off the top of my head right now. I think it was actually the Prussian Cavalry Waterloo, uh, or Epic Battles Waterloo, which lacked a little bit of detail, uh, but overall, not a problem. These guys have a lot of detail, very good. So next up, although you don't see it on screen, unfortunately I lost that footage, I did paint the muskets and any wooden parts that they have on them or any brown leather using leather brown from Game Color. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the footage, but for some reason it disappeared. Uh, so now we jump straight into silver from Game Color, and for that, we're doing the muskets, um, any p uh, pieces on the miniatures that are metal. So if they've got bayonets or swords, um, the flintlock mechanisms on their muskets, uh, on the poles for holding the, the musket steady, the tops are metal, so anything like that, we're just doing silver. Now we're going to use Ice White from Game Color. You can see on the miniatures um, they have socks, I think they're socks anyway, um, also their cuffs and collars, uh, they're all a very bright white color, so that's what we're going to use here. Also, one of the chaps, I give him a white jacket. Well, I, I'm assuming he's taken his jacket off and it's his white undershirt, um, but use your imagination as to how you'd like them to be. Theoretically, I'd say there's no issue if you wished to just have a unit of these painted up in a white uniform. Go for it. I know the, uh, there was a, several units from Newcastle in the English Civil War who wore white uniforms, so you could just go straight for it. I also painted up a few of their hats in white. Um, some of the miniatures have feathers, so I did those in white also. Yeah, the more you dig into this period, both Continental and English Civil War, uh, you find there's so many different uniforms. You can really have a field day if you like colour, and you like trying out different patterns and techniques, um, this is a great period to actually be painting. Next up we're going to do the flesh tones. So we're using flat flesh from Tamiya Color. So with this color, um, it comes out very a very nice bright flesh color which is good because when we dull it down with the wash later on it'll make it look very nice and realistic but do remember to keep it damp um, either flow improver or water otherwise it will dry out pretty quickly on the palette so 
So now we apply our wash, which is a dark brown, over the miniatures, and then we go back through and highlight using the original colour. And that gives us our finished products. And to be honest, I'm very happy with the way they came out. I think they look very smart, um, very good detail, very enjoyable to paint. Can't wait to use them on the table. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, leave some comments down below, and I'll see you next time.